Hey, how you doing? It's just Mike. And today, I'm going to be showing you the first five days of my brand new Terraria. Let's play. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the first thing I did when I got into the world, I went ahead and chopped down a couple of trees so I would have enough wood to get a workbench and a hammer. Then I started excavating the terrain, so I'll be able to get to the stone that was underneath that big dirt mound, so I'll be able to get to the floor of my house started. Then I dug down one more and placed a four platform, so I'll be able to get down there without the guy going down there getting stuck down there. I saw a slime that was trying to sink up on me, so I destroyed it. I then decided to go into the platform that I made so I'd be able to get all the stone that was under it, and then I'll be able to make my floor. Then I made a hammer, and then I figured it was time to get started on the house. I decided to go get the coins from the slime that was killed by the guide, and then when I came back there were two big slimes waiting in my house.
After dying once, I finally managed to kill them. And they took forever to kill. Then I built the roof and tried to make it look nice with a hammer. I'm not the best builder, so it's the best you're gonna get. I made a couple walls and placed them down. That was the end of day one. During night one, I decided to do some mining. I got three iron bars from the mining session. I was able to make a chest, put it on top, and I was also able to make a smelter. And then as soon as morning, 
one came and all the zombies went away, I decided to go ahead, get some wood, and look for anything interesting. Mm-hmm. 
it'll be a good idea to grab some sand so I'll be able to make windows for my house. And I also decided to get some cactus so I'll be able to make cactus armor and tools. I also found a cave full of vases, so I decided to smash them and get what was inside them. I managed to get a couple good things, most notably I was able to get some rope, but I was stopped from getting the last one because of a big slime. Exited the cave, I tried fighting some vultures, but I died. When I got back to base, I decided to make a cactus helmet and a cactus sword, since that was all the stuff I can make with the cactus that I had. So I'll be able to make a window and it came out looking pretty good, I think. I decided to put some of my stuff in one of my chests and then I decided to begin the long journey going back to the desert.
sword, and I managed to get my tombstone. I know this is a weird crap thing that shot balls at me whenever I went past it, so I tried killing it, but I realized I couldn't, so I gave up for now. some more cactus, then I jumped back on the hill, got hurt by that weird monster looking thing, then I went back down to the cave to get that last face. When I arrived back on the surface, I was greeted by a vulture and a slime. I was able to pick up the slime, but the vulture took me out, meaning I died three times in a matter of two days. To finish off day two, I decided to make a cactus chest piece so I'd have a little bit more protection I wouldn't die as easily. I decided to make a bunch of little coffee and decided to dig down a little bit to see if I can find anything worthwhile. Digging down for a little bit, I managed to find a lot of iron.
after collecting all that iron, I decided to continue digging down. Fallen Star. Then out of nowhere a zombie ambushed me, but I managed to get past him and get back up to the surface. Exactly and after our second meeting, I died a fourth time in a matter of two days. And after I respawned, I decided to go back down and get my tombstone back. another platform and then I made my way back up to the surface to get ready to get back into the desert.
When I died a fifth time in the matter of three days, this wasn't my best playthrough by any means. But things were gonna get better. So I chopped down all the cactuses that were in the desert and I found a little cave with a base in it so I smashed it, then I moved on and I found a hollow tree. I decided to make my way back to base, so I wasn't getting too ahead of myself, and I wouldn't move any more coins, and I wouldn't have to add another death to the list. When I got back to base, I decided to make some cactus pants, and then I went back down underground to the hole I made, dug down a little bit more, placed another platform, and I made my way back up to the top, 
And once I was on the surface, I decided to head in the left direction, and there I found something amazing. It looks like a lot, but it really wasn't that much, but it is still an amazing find. I carved out a good chunk of the iron, took it back to base, and then I smelted it off into iron bars. I made an anvil, put it down, and made a short sword, and I rose out my long iron, so I went into one of my chests, grabbed the iron ore that I had left over in there, smelted it up, and I got some more iron ore. Then I realized I could have made a broadsword, so I wasted all that iron on a short sword when I could have just used it to get a broadsword and have enough for a pickaxe. Thank you. 
After I made the sword, I decided to grab my tin so I'll be able to make a tin pickaxe so I would have a little bit faster mining speeds. I also decided to make a tin helmet and when I made the tin helmet, I put it on so that means I would have a little extra protection when I was fighting creatures. And then when I put it on, I opened the door and killed a couple zombies. gonna wrap up day three. During day three I decided to go to the house and put some torches down while I was going to get the iron that was left in that hole. And while I was doing it a couple surprises caught me off guard but luckily I managed to overcome them. When I got back to my house, I decided to cover all the iron I got into iron bars. I then put them in a the chest and then went back down to continue mining for the night.
When morning eventually arrived, I decided to go down or to my house and dig for a little bit. I don't know why, but when I came back up, I decided to then go exploring to find anything interesting, such as more iron or tin. When I left, I eventually stumbled upon a crimson biome, and I died a couple of times there by the creatures that were there. They are pretty hard to fight in the early game. When it eventually got to my brain that this was going to be too tough to fight with the gear I had on, I decided to go in the other direction and see if I can find anything good. I found a weird creature and it killed me once.
Then I decided to give up on the exploring for the day and I decided to get to work on the second building of our little village.
For some odd reason, I just stood there for a few seconds, but when I eventually decided to start moving again, I thought the house looked pretty good, we got in a decent show done, and I went back to my house, and that was the end of day four. So on night four, I decided to finish once I started on day four, and it came out looking pretty nice.
whole bunch of zombies that were around my base. On day five, as soon as morning came, I decided to go explore the hollow tree that I had found a few days before. Yeah, it wasn't really that good since it was flooded, but I did manage to find a fink staff, meaning I had my first pet that would fight for me. When I exited the chair, I decided to go to the right, see if I could find that long, 
crab on thing that killed me a few days before. I did manage to get one piece of tin because I didn't really want to get the others, but the crab thing was nowhere to be found, so I was able to pick up my gravestone. Then I kept going right in where I found a cave that was filled with a ton of good loot. Honestly, it was my best find yet. Yeah, I kind of forgot how rope worked in the cave, but we're not going to talk about that. 
and it was as soon as I got back up to the service, I decided that I would head straight back home. When I arrived back home, I placed the chest down that I got along with the living loom. Then I decided to take my spear out for a spin.
I didn't know what the ground was made of, but I knew I couldn't break over my tin pickaxe, so maybe on day 6 to 10 we'll be able to find a pickaxe that can break it. and I gather some wood. We went back to the house and that was where day five ended. a huge thing for watching the video and this video took a couple days to make not that long but it's definitely the longest project i've ever made hope that you guys did enjoy it should leave a like comment down below subscribe awesome stuff and i'll see you guys next one peace out